What are those? Those are Faith. <sighs> A summoning. Someone is using these Faith. Someone is drawing energy from all of them. This many? Who wields power on this scale? And what could they be calling? Hey, you know something, don't you? Spill the beans! Look not to others for knowledge. This is your journey, too. Uni might die, you know? No. Aaron's right. Huh? This is our... <sighs> this is my story. What? Welcome home. home. You... Remember, Remember me? We met, met in Bavel. Uh... Yeah? But, but that, that wasn't, wasn't the, the first, first time, time we met. I've, I've known, known about, about you for a long time. A long, long time. I... I feel, I feel like, like I know, I know you, you too. too. Where are we? <laughs> Silly, don't, don't recognize, recognize your own home? into you, hey! Wake up! Wake up! Wait, Wait. This, this is a dream. dream. Precisely. A dream? A dream? Are, Are you, you crazy? crazy? I don't, I don't have, have time, time to be dreaming, dreaming now. You're wrong. It's, it's not, not that, that you're, you're dreaming. dreaming. You, you are, are a dream. dream. Huh, wait, uh, wait a, a sec. sec. Long ago, there was a war. Yeah, with, with Machina, Machina, right? Yes, a war between Xanarkand and Bavel. Bavel's Machina assured their victory from the start. Spira had never seen such power. The summoners of Xanarkand didn't stand a chance. Xanarkand was doomed to oblivion. That's, That's why, why we, we tried, tried to save it, it if only in a memory. What, what did, you did you do? The remaining summoners and the townspeople that survived the war, they all became Faith, Faith for the Summoning. The Summoning? You mean Sin? No, I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. What? what? The dreams of the Faith summoned the memories of the city. They summoned all the buildings, all the people who lived there. The people? What? They're, They're all dreams? Me? Too? Yes, you're a dream of the Faith. You, your father, your mother, everyone, all dreams. And if the faith stopped dreaming... No. no! So, so what, what if I'm a dream? dream? I... 
I like being here. We've been dreaming so long. We're tired. Would you and your father, would you let us rest? Both you and your father have been touched by sin. Sin, the one around whom all Spira, the spiral, revolves. What are you saying? You two are more than just dreams now. Wake up! Wake up, please! Just a little more, and maybe... Maybe you are the dream that will end our dreaming at last. All right? Oh, phew. Hey, we were so worried about you. You okay? I... I'm okay. What happened? Nothing. I blacked out. I was dreaming. <laughs> you called me. And I woke up. Nothing like a good nap. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. They'll be upon us soon. She has sent fiends to test our summoner's strength. Who is she? Unaleska. Lady Unaleska? In Xanarkin, she awaits the arrival of the strongest. She is still alive? As much as Micah and Seymour. I see. Lost your nerve? No. Nothing frightens me now. <laughs> Braska would be proud. Then I must not let him down. Hey, can't we rest a little? No need. We reach the summit soon. I know. That's why I want to stop for a bit. Soon means that there's not much time left. Riku. Fine. I'll think on the way. Hey, come on. Let's go. We are. Almost there, aren't we? <sighs> We've come a long way. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Hmm? Before, the closer I came to Xanarkin, the more I wondered. When we arrive, Brasco will call the final Aeon. He will fight Sin, then die. I thought my mind was made up long before. But when I stood here, my resolve wavered. Hmm. Never would have figured. Legendary guardians choke sometimes too, yeah? Huh? <laughs> Legendary guardian? I was just a boy. A boy about your age, actually. I wanted to change the world too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Yuna, I say no. If 
If we go down there, then you'll... Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but I must go down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go, but shouldn't we think about it some more? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Uni. Thank you, Riku. Thank you for everything. Don't say that, Uni. It's not over yet. Tell Sid, thank you. Tell him yourself. Uh, please. Uni, don't say that because we're gonna see each other again, okay? Kimari, let's go. Sir Oren, Kimari told me, when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? I had always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. And so am I. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Oren, I thank you. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. Now, I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. I stood on the bridge in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone, I could see the fields where he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Braska, remember? At first, I was so scared. Until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. I think I cried then, because that, that was when I knew my father was dead, and I would never see him again. You just held me, without saying a word. I cried after we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, don't go, don't go. And you listened, Kamari. 
You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Thank you so much. And I've always liked your broken horn. Waka, Lulu. I'll never forget my days spent with you, growing up in Besaid. We always played together, us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know, when you tried to stop me then, really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. What else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really? I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are... I am... Well, um... I'm glad... I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... It's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that. Uh, I'll do that part over. Um... What you up to? Listen to my story. This may be our last chance.
Hey, there was more, right? I mean, like that time... Uh, anyone? I think... Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe... for now. Let's go. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. What? What was that? Our predecessors. She said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. No! Mother, no! I don't want you to become a babe! There is no other way. Use me and defeat Sin. Only then will the people accept you. I don't care about them! I need you, Mother! No one else! I don't. Have much time left. Hey, wasn't that Seymour? Uh. Hey, Braska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I. I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Are the trials ahead? Probably. Here too, huh? Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. Yuna, we're here. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Yes. Huh? What do you mean, no final Aeon? Sir Oren! Everyone! This isn't a faith. It's just an empty statue. That statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. 
Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean... there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. The Summoner and the final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the Lady awaits. Yuna, wait! Aaron, you knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? Yuna. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. <gasps> Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Zanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <gasps> there must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner. For that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know? Don't do this, Jekt. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Checked? What? You're not gonna try to stop me too? Sorry. I mean, thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. Lord Braska, Jekt. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue, and your deaths will mean nothing. 
But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> Break it. But how? What, you got a plan now? If one of us has to become a faith, I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, you'll end up with nothing. But I want everything! Now you're being childish. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what? Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of... something? Yes. I'll go ask Unaleska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do, I do with no regrets. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never-ending. Never-ending? But... but... if we atone for our crimes, Sin will stop coming back, yeah? Someday it'll be gone, yeah? Will humanity ever attain such purity? Ugh. This... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement. It's been our only hope all these years. Hope is comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die because they had hope.
Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira, and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted... to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Not just... cover it up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father... I loved him. So I... I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow... in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday I will conquer it. And I will do it without false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. Now! This is it! Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain. Or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ha! Ah, I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. If I die, so does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the Immortal, would only create sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, Zeon. Forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy Sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. I know. It's about you, right? I am also an unsent. You are not surprised. I think... I kinda knew. It was you and Aleska, wasn't it? When Braska and Jekt died defeating Sin, I just couldn't accept it. I came back here, tried to avenge them. But she struck me down. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazet. 
But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. I've been wandering ever since, never going to the far plane. Aaron. Don't make that face. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And you've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. Uh. My memories. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh... Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. Uh. My son in Xanarkand. He's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care of him, will you? But how am I supposed to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about you. That is why.